All right, guys. Welcome back, to Star Ocean. We got up pretty early to play this one. Uh, I'm gonna try to do this today, and also try to do another episode of Prey, and then I'll probably do a, another episode of this. Just do a sandwich of the games. Um, anything here? I want to do a PA, <coughs> PA mode. Is he still upset from the last episode when uh, she told him, talked to him, she was talking about Diaz? Cannot transmit or receive messages. You are out of emergency broadcast range. Ah, no dice. I wonder if one of the points of light up there is Earth. Of course, even if I knew which one it was, it's not like I could ever go there. Hope Mom and Dad are doing all right. Seems like all I've done is given them reasons to worry about me. I mean, all kids do that, Claude. She, she ran. Claude? Why did she say like she was calling out to him? But she was hiding. Pauline. The ones especially that like, first of all, I never seen these ever. Ow. Ugh. If I gain any more weight, I won't have any clothes left to wear. Ow. Claude, were you listening to me just now? Oh, I, uh... What do you mean? I see. But if you did just happen to hear me talking to myself just now, it'd be best if you didn't tell anyone else. For your own health, mind you. Is that a threat? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <coughs> She just threatened me. Oh, I just want this one real quick. Whoa! Ah! Oh, it's you, Reina. You scared me. You scared me a little too. What's up? I was just talking with the Elder, but he said there's no such thing as healing symbology. Yeah, girl, you're special. But how is that possible? How is it that I can cast spells without having to use any symbols? I'm starting to feel like I'm some kind of 
monster. What am I? Listen, Reyna, that power of yours, it saved me countless times. There's nothing bad about that gift you have, all right? I'm glad you think that way, Claude. But I just wish I could find someone who could tell me what this healing power is exactly. I'm sure that person is out there somewhere. I'll help you find him, okay? You're coming a lot to this Thanks planet, bro. I thought you were trying to get back home. I'm not trying to do anything. If I didn't mean what I said, that'd be like saying I'm somehow better than you. You don't have to be cynical about it like that. Whatever you were trying to do, it helped me. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, we can move on now. Did I? Yeah, I did. What did he say? Is north of here? What's on this? I'm supposed to look up what happened with Ashton. Paralysis potions. Series, what it was called. Be careful. Let's go. We Thinking, I see Lee because of her magic, but I feel like we need a range like an art jersey. I know Opera. Well, I can't get Opera now because I got Ashley, but I know Opera was a she had a shotgun or some shit.
I think of that max. Ah, the big city. The exotic smells, the hustle and bustle. This is what the Liqueur Kingdom is all about. Ha! You sound like some kind of country hick out on vacation. Is there something wrong with that, Claude? Yeah, she is spicy. No, no problem. Cross can't hold a candle to this place. No wonder they call this the biggest kingdom in the world. Yeah, I know what you're saying. We've come just at the perfect time, too. It's right before the start of the armory contest. We might even get to watch some of it if we're lucky. Yeah, that's fine and all, but can't you guys save that for later? We've got business to take care of. What? Huh? Nothing. Two of them. The whole town seems to be wrapped up in the spirit of the armory contest. Yeah, I am. Your body doesn't quite work the way it used to. I can't even make it to the stores to get what I need. Oh, really? That must be difficult for you. There would be too much trouble. I ask, would you mind doing a bit of shopping for me? Hey, I don't want to bother you. Except her errands. Yeah. Oh, well, it's all right. I'm sorry to trouble you like this. Not at all, ma'am. In that case, would you be able to get me able to visit the Smith stores for me? Here's item shop here in town. Tell the clerk you're visiting on my account. He'll know what to get you. Excuse me, I'm here on behalf of the old woman who shops here. You know the old woman who lives on the edge of town? She said you would know who I'm talking about. Oh, yes, yes. They're talking about old lady Moore. Well, I haven't seen her send anybody here in a while. Oh, they're really good. How the hell did he know? Is she the only old lady? I don't know. It was easy. I can't help but imagine how nice it would be if I had a grandson like you. Ah, well, thank you very much, man. All right, I need to repay you. Please take this as my gift. Oh, I already couldn't take these. It's all right. 
so I like to see what she's around displays anyway. She has a funny thing, you know? So the kind of thing that's meant to be hoarded by one person. And what a waste if you do that. Thank you so much for helping me out. Helping out all over and warms my heart. Ah, uh, ma'am, your legs. They're fit as a fiddle. The doctor says so. Alright. I just got a I mean, she could have just said, hey, can you just do this favor for me? I'm old. So karate, it must be because of her. I wish I could have done a lot. You have to ask us, Brides. What are you going to do to me? To hell? I'm just a poor little cute girl from out in the country. You want to talk to me unless you're some kind of until your motive. Are you going to sell me to some underground car certificate or what? Jesus. Oh, I know. You're going to offer my soul up to some evil god, my pure soul. I'm sure I make perfect sacrifice for your evil deeds. Wait a minute, girl. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Uh, there's no doubting it now. I'm not a bad guy. It's a guarantee that you're a real, real bad guy. What kind of evil villain would actually admit that they're, they're bad? <laughs> I guess you have a point. Who knows what kind of evil plans you have for me now? Please, if anyone is <laughs> listening to me, then help. Help me. Easy. Hold on just a second. All I did was talk to you, all right? What did I do to make you think up all these horrible things about me? What do you think? Only evil mobs will talk to total strangers in the middle of the street. If you see so dangerous, why did I have to run away from home? Oh no, it's not, not my secret out. You want to kill me, aren't you? Oh, why did you think of that? My dad always told me the big city is a horrible, horrible place compared to Linga. I don't think he meant horrible in that way exactly. You think? I'm positive. You know, I did think that it was kind of strange to have to say that. Oh, you finally realized? What should I do about this girl? I'm getting tired of being around. Oh, I can't just go home. What are you going to do, though? I could take you back home if you like. <laughs> you almost got me there. You were trying to calm me down, weren't you? Just where were you planning to take me? The big city's hard, but my dad was right. <laughs> Stay away from me if you get any closer out screen. Sheesh. What is that? With that girl. Sign up for the contest here. Sign up for the Lawrence Ceremony contest. We'll be taking up. Welcome. Could we have an audience with the king, please? Unfortunately, his majesty will be unavailable for the duration of the armory contest. We need to see him as soon as possible. Is there anything we can do? Hmm. Well, it's not impossible, I suppose. If one of you won the contest, you'd get to receive a congratulatory message from the king. Otherwise, I'm afraid you will have to wait several days. Damn. Sign up for the contest here. Are you sure about this, Claude? Of course I'm sure. 
I'm entering the liqueur armory contest. But, I mean, everyone else is going to be really strong, I bet. You might get seriously hurt. Are you saying that I'm too weak to stand a chance? You know that's not what I meant. I've never had anyone give me an impartial view of my strength. <laughs> I've never had anyone so much as recognize me for my talents instead of my name. That's why I think this is a great chance for me. A ch Claude. Besides, there's someone in this tournament I've just got to meet. Diaz. Do you mean Diaz? Uh. Claude C. Kenny, is that correct? All right. I've taken care of your application. Make sure you find a sponsoring weapon shop and register with them by the day before the tournament. I got it. Sponsoring weapon shop. Does that mean I have to be given a weapon? You know, Claude, if you're going to be in the tournament, I suppose that means we'll be in liqueur for at least a few days. Yeah. Sorry to be such a pain in the neck. I really don't care either way. As long as you win, we'll get to meet the king and get our hands on tons of prizes and cash, right? If you can pull it off, then it won't be a waste of our time at all. Thanks. I guess I owe you guys a victory now, don't I? Yes, you do. But before that, don't you have to go find a weapon shop to sponsor you? Oh, right. Signing up at the castle wasn't enough, was it? There are weapon shops all over Lacour. It shouldn't be too hard to find one. Let's take a look around the city. I want to go visit them all before I make a decision. Okay. Step right up. You won't find a better weapon shop in all the four. Excuse me. Are you still to the contestants? Are you fighting in the contest? Sure. Come on board, dude. Can we take a look at the equipment you're offering first? Take a good look and let me know what you can say. Significantly low. What did she say? Shut up, let's do your arm work on this one. Is a piercer. Jeez. You know, my parents are going to be stronger than the looks. Sure, come on, board us and throw them over here. Uh, what would you do for what you said just now? Probably won't find a better type of Alright, hold on. I want. Let me see something. So that was decreasing defense, decreasing, and uh, I guess, but right. I think that he skipped through it. I just lowered the two and doesn't even do anything. So that one just lowers both without no strength add on.
I'm gonna have to be this guy because at least I get some strength out of it when I. This is a real good pounding. This armor should hold on, so you should just get this kind of Is there anything else I need to do now? Let's go to the reception desk today at the contest. Pick up your equipment. You'll get everything you need at the time. Until then, you're free to do whatever you want. I'll be in the stand during the contest, so you better not get eliminated before I get there. Well, I guess this means I'm officially entered now. It's interesting, isn't it? For the combatants, this is a matter of life and death, but for everyone else, it's like a national festival. This is life and death? Me at all. If you've got a chance to let loose, there's no reason why you shouldn't take it. Claude. Everyone has a different goal in life, you know? There's no point trying to force them down one way or the other. Why don't you brighten up a little? Look at how crazy everything is in Lacour right now. You're right. Let's paint the town red until the tournament starts. Train your skills, play around, just do whatever you want. We can stay in Lacour until the day of the tournament, right? Yeah. Not only is the inn free for tournament contestants, but they'll even wake me up on battle day so I don't sleep through it. Well, shall we go and have some fun? Um, let me look around the town real quick. The registration deadline is coming up soon. You better go out there and register quick. The bar name for sort of look who would drink or weapons. Because they're the best in the world. So it's a few more days for the contest. I can't wait. Contest winners receive a cash as well as some prize for the weapon shop. But ah, oh, shit. How do you register? You need to go up to the castle, find a weapon shop to sponsor you, make sure. Alright, they're just giving you, they're just letting you know how to do everything we just did. Move, 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 move. Uh, what's this star right here? What's this? Hey there, you want me to look at something you've written? I don't know. Statue of the Three Warriors, a likeness of the founder of the Armory Contest, Artist Unknown. The gallant faces give the people courage and the hope to live, making Lacour to what it is today. Opinions differ on this. <laughs> We should go out and like level about two times. Grandpa says that nobody's allowed to go in right now. He's trying to make something really great and he said they don't want to be disturbed. You should come back later. I don't remember that at all. Everyone here is caught up in the mood of the contest. The truth is, at least L, the first the monster to fight back, the monster horde. It's only a matter of time before they come to the war. Okay. Yeah, let's get out there and get some combat in. Oh, maybe we should just relax in the end. So. What? Oh my god, do I not have something for that? Oh, I do. That's oh! So after the counter, I can go off like that.
get a train going. Shit. 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 Thank you for the like. Oh my god! Is that like an anti-air move or something? What the hell was that? Holy shit.
Yeah, the move is pretty powerful. Oh, 25. 25 should be good, right? By myself, too. I just gotta remember that. I think Claude is fighting by himself on this one. Oh, wait, we gotta go to the end. I'm going the wrong direction. Why ain't nobody telling me? Welcome to the Lacour Hotel. How can I help you? Hi, I'm one of the contestants in the tournament. Ah, uh, yes. I see your armory contest badge. Could I have your name, please? Claude C. Kenny. Claude C. Kenny. Indeed, your name's on the list. I wish you the best of luck in the tournament. However, I must warn you that participants are not allowed to leave the city until after the armory contest is over. Do you have anything left to take care of? I'm ready for the contest. I'm ready. Please enjoy your stay. Diaz, I don't know, but I think I'm ready. Now we just have to wait for the big day. I could have joined the contest too if I didn't have these guys latched onto my back. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wonder if we'll see Diaz there. We haven't seen him in any of the towns we've been to. Doing it on its own. This is not me. It feels like time slows down to a crawl whenever you're waiting for something big to happen. What are you so nervous about, Reyna? It's not like you're the one fighting. You're right. I suppose I am acting a little strange, aren't I? Reyna? I... I make you all nervous when I'm around, don't I, Claude? I'm gonna go out and walk around for a bit then. What? You don't have to be so worried about me. Not that I have any business intruding, but I don't think that's the whole reason she's like this. What? She's probably thinking about what to do if she runs into Diaz, don't you think? I wonder. I don't know exactly how Reyna feels about this Diaz character, but at the very least, she obviously thinks enough of him that she can hardly even sit still right now. Whatever. I need to focus on something else right now. Jealous. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. Nothing? If you want to say something, just spit it out already. Never, Never mind. you mind. Ugh. Reyna came back a while later, looking all depressed and dejected. She seemed lost in her own little world until the contest began. The day finally dawned on the Liqueur Armory contest. The town was alive with excitement, every street and thoroughfare packed with feverish crowds of people. One after another, the tournament contestants filed into Lacour Castle. It wouldn't be long before I'd be joining them. Well, I'm all set. I'll be heading off for Lacour Castle soon. You aren't stressing over it all, are you, Claude? I'll be fine. I feel a lot better today. In that case, nothing to worry about then. Don't worry. I really feel like I've got a chance to win today. Yeah.
buying tickets. If you got any tickets, you know, you didn't tell them to me. That's all I really into a guy registering for a contest. I know who I'm rooting for. How about the S? You want to take a picture here? Can you take a picture of us? I can't believe it's about to start. I hope there was somebody worth the rooting for. Dude, if that's it, maybe I should have your autograph. Yeah, maybe you should. Sorry about that. Hey, look, they're trying to cut in line. <laughs> you can stand in line, okay? There's plenty of seats. Hey, you can leave. Hey, you can see I'm getting my ticket just right, so I'm cutting in. That's how this is. Alright, please head over to the counter. We're not gonna last a minute. I have. So what guy over there? Excuse me, I'm participating in the tournament. Your name? Claude C. Kenny. Kenny, ah, uh, yes. First of all, please give me all of your weapons and items. We'll be keeping them here for you. All right. Now I'll give you the equipment sent to us by your sponsoring weapon shop. You'll receive the rest of your usable items before the battle begins. So check with... The arena agent for details. For now, you're all set. Please thank you for the two likes, guys. I appreciate that so much. Begins. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you. With Diaz. Excuse me. Has my weapon arrived yet? You're Diaz Flack, right? I'm sorry. We haven't received anything from your weapon shop. How much time do I have? Well, given the circumstances, we'll extend the deadline to just before the start of your first match. Would you perhaps be able to visit your weapon shop and see what the situation is? I don't need you to remind me. Diaz! Reyna, what do you want? Hey, do you want to is Dan's weapon there? here yet? What's it to you? Everything! I'm the one who introduced you to him. Introduced him? What's all this about, Reyna? Uh, Babe! It's nothing. She was just in the right place at the right time. Nothing to get jealous over, Claude. What? Stop thinking about it. It's my problem, not yours. What? I'm sorry. I need to go with Diaz for a moment. Oh, Reyna? my God. Diaz can't fight in the tournament without a weapon. You don't want to lose your chance to fight him, do you? What are you waiting for? Go if he means that much to you. Claude, it's not like that. Well, you're the one picking out weapons for Diaz. Whose side are you on here anyway? Claude, why are you saying this? Why do you think, Reyna? Why did you have to be so accusatory, Claude? That was rather childish of you. What did I do? It would seem you have no idea how simple it is to hurt a girl's feelings. You don't have to raggle me like this. Sheesh. Weren't you the one ragging on Reyna, though? Ouch. <laughs> Not wrong. I 
come up and try to hire me to enter the contest. I tell me they'll get twice as much money when I win. Just don't disturb me. I'm doing some image training, self image training. Doing what? Gentlemen, the Liqueur Armory contest is now officially underway. The first match of the first round is about to begin. Please come up to me when your name is called. Amon Rao, fighting for the Savage Slayer. Sweet, I'm first. Let's do this. <laughs> he did a walk Claude like that. C. Kenny, fighting for the straight jab. H here. Wow, you're already out on the field. Hang in there, Claude. Don't fizzle out on me. Thanks. I'll try my best. <laughs> now I'll be handing you the items you're allowed to use during battle. Remember, these are going to be the only items you'll have for use during the entire tournament. Sweet syrup, mix syrup, the black rules are That's simple, it. People. Two participants enter the arena. The one who falls first is the loser. And please remember that being petrified or paralyzed will also count as a loss. This is your last chance to check up on your equipment, folks. Do you have everything you need? Are you ready for the arena? That I can't. Friends are contagious when you enter. What? I could. I didn't know I could do this. I did not know I could fucking do this. Shit. Are you ready for the arena? Here we go, baby. Round one. Ladies and gentlemen, after a seemingly endless wait, the day we've all been waiting for is finally here. Welcome to the I see somebody. I wonder if anybody else sees them. I see my two party members, but I also see somebody. We've got one of the best lineups in tournament history this year, and I can hardly wait to see what kind of action we'll see on the arena floor. Make sure you keep your eyes on the field, folks. You won't want to miss a second. Kicking off the first round, we have Amon Rao fighting against Claude C. Kenny. Who will emerge victorious? It's all going to go down right now. We can win this. I hope. I'd say that was eight out of ten. 
Yeah. That was to the death, right? So I just killed that guy? Raina was watching out there. I wonder where she is even. Claude, get your head in the game, man. Alright, let try to get the one. What's wrong with you people? Did they teach you how to create a ruckus? <laughs> when I grow up, I'm going to be in the fight contest, too. Hi, I'm Lucy. I saw your match out there. Is it okay for me to have a crush on you? Jesus. I'm glad you find new surprises by going back to the town you already visited. You can do a tutorials now. Members of the St. Florian. Why you all search around? Armory concepts, Leon. Don't you find it fun at all? That's Leon. It's a fun about a concept where you don't have to use your brain to win. Claude! <laughs> I won! How impressive! I saw the whole thing, Claude. Keep up the good work. Uh, was Reyna there? Reyna? Hmm, I don't know. I didn't see her while we were watching, at least. Oh. We have a winner! Emma Bregovich has won the seventh match of round one! Show him some love, people! I think after the tournament, we meet Leon. Say, is it Diaz's turn yet? He's not gonna have to forfeit, is he? I don't care anymore. Claude? <laughs> Reyna. Congratulations. I heard from one of the soldiers. You made it past the first round. Reyna. I really wanted to watch, but I didn't realize you were the very first match. I would have stayed to watch if I had known. It's okay. Besides, you were angry at me. Oh, Diaz is up next. The eighth match of round one pits Thomas Nelson against Diaz Fleck. Diaz was almost disqualified from the tournament, but he's got his weapon and he's ready for action. Let's see what they've got in store. Ooh. That was a waste of time. Oh, a lot of damage. What the hell was that? That was a lot of damage. <laughs> and there he goes. DS Black has won the eighth match of round one. Huh? Sorry about the doggy. Oh, he made it just in time. Um, so Reyna, what happened with Diaz? It was nothing serious. Some guy stole Diaz's weapon to keep him from entering the tournament, that's all. I'll let you off the hook for now, but you better believe we'll be wanting to hear more from you later. That's fine with you, right, Claude? Huh? Uh, what's this about? Pardon me, Mr. Kinney. Round two is about to get started, so could you return to the waiting room? Yeah. Oh, sure. Good luck, Claude. Bust through the second round like you did the first. Yeah, calm down, Claude, Ashton. Do your best, okay? Got it. 
We're about to begin the second round, people. Good luck to all of you. Are you set to go? Yep. Best of luck to you. Jesus. This is tournament starting to heat up, folks. We've got the first match in the second round for you, starting right now. Dorothan is taking on Claude C. Kenny in this match, and it's shaping up to be a monumental battle. Claude's one of our younger competitors. How long can he hold out? Does he have what it takes to win it all? Let's find out. <laughs> Here they come. That's <coughs> for us. I can do that to Diaz. Yeah, dude. Man, Claude's really got it, doesn't he? I mean, the semifinals. Wow, my heartbeat's going crazy here. <laughs> oh, nah, nah. The you see something? About to get underway. Are you set to go? Are you set to go? Best of luck to you. Now, 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 so her heart is beating for me. Oh, shit. They look like Blanca. That's not Blanca from Street Fighter. That's Blanca. <laughs> Gonna swing right through this. We have our first finalist. Claude C. Kenny has won the first semifinal match. Only two battles left, folks. It's only going to get hotter and hotter from here. Don't say anything different now. That's what's everyone here, aren't you? Way to go. Took a day out to come. Come on, go. Man, what are Leon and his mother doing here? They're going to kill my buds. Well, that's Leon and his mother. I saw everything, Claude. You've really made it to the finals. I can barely believe it myself. You've been impressive throughout the entire tournament, Claude. You've gotten so much stronger. There's something I need to... Yes? Is Diaz still in it? Brought the 
these two fighters against each other, and fate will allow only one of them to survive. Diaz Black has dominated every match so far. You gotta Can smoke this man. put a stop to his mad rush? Here they come. Count. Air slash. You see that air slash? Oh my gosh. Is that all? It's a hell of a 2500. This one, boys. He's still in it. He's been in control the entire tournament. You don't have to tell me, that's for sure. Even I can see how strong he is. You are planning on losing, are you, Claude? It's not that. Seeing how strong he is just makes me want to put everything I've got into this battle. It takes a special sort of man to say that, you know? Sorry to bother you. Since the final match is about to begin, I'll need you to be over in the waiting room. Sure. Claude! Claude! You, you can, can do it! it! <laughs> so, such weebs. <laughs> Everybody else is just looking at them like, why are they just, what, like, what's wrong with those fans? <laughs> This is it. Have you got all your equipment sorted out? All set to go? All set to go? Let's do this. You've kept your side of the promise. Promise? Oh, didn't Reyna tell you about it? Wait, what promise? <laughs> it's so amusing how irritated you get whenever Reyna's name comes up. This battle's for keeps, though. We're in the arena, Claude. I'm not gonna give you an inch. Expect the same from me. I mean, this battle's for keeps. Keeps what? Embarrassing. The king of the Am I bleeding? I'm embarrassed oh, us all. Holy shit. There. No. Claude. Guys, it, it didn't matter. I was supposed to lose. There was no alternate to that. Claude. You gotta believe me. But I just Googled it right now. Ugh, wait, the tournament. What happened to the finals? It's already over, Claude. Hm? It's over? 
So I... I... You almost had him beaten, but he came back and won in the end. Oh, funny, I don't remember any of that. Dias! <coughs> I don't think you're in any shape to talk like that to me, but I'll just ignore it for now. Oh man, yeah, honestly. <laughs> what do you want? I thought I'd come over to thank you. Thank me? You were better than I ever expected. I haven't had to put 100% into a fight in ages. Man, that wasn't a hundred percent. Me? Don't get the wrong idea. It wasn't a compliment. Wh what? what <laughs> You try not to spoil him either, Reyna. It'll be better for him if you keep him on a long leash. What are you talking about, Diaz? That's all I wanted to say. I need to get going. Diaz! But he is what? A, he is a loser. Will I see you again? <laughs> Certainly, if the time comes. Uh, either the voice—I think it might be a little, a little bit of the voice acting. It's not bad. We should leave too. But it was better to read this without the voices at one point. Are you sure you're okay to go? I'm still feeling a little lightheaded, but that's all. I must have been out for a while. Oh, that would be thanks to all the spells Reyna had cast on you. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Now then, why don't we take some of that energy and focus it on the Sorcery Globe investigation? The first thing to do is to go to Linga and get that book of ours deciphered. All right, Linga's our next stop then. Oh, but before we leave, we need to go claim your second place prize. Oh, there was a second place prize? I didn't know that. Claude. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'll never look this way. I mean, this way doesn't look bad either, but I, I wasn't mad at the old animation of the environment. But this way, this way is, you know, it's cool. I think I know who this is over here. I think it's this girl that could join the group, but I'm not gonna take her. I want somebody else. Come on, man, let me get a sword. You there. You fought in the tournament, didn't you? Yes, sir. Actually, Claude was the one with Diaz in the final match. Of course, of course. I watched the whole <coughs> thing. That was a very close fight. It could have gone either way in the end. Oh, I wasn't anywhere near that. Diaz had nothing but good things to say about your sword fighting, you know. Said he's looking forward to seeing you mature. 
he said that? In fact, uh, he told me to give you something if I happen to run into you afterwards. That'd be one good sword. You're giving this to me? That's another one of the swords I've made. He said it'd be a good fit for your size. Dia said that? That oh, guy's Claude. pretty shy, Get it together. It'd be a lot easier if he just told you all of this himself. So, does this mean he sees me as some kind of rival then? start crafting and doing that with my weapons I need to get that customization built up. Well, the nearly other four that you made me out to be. Oh, uh, who are you kidding? Check out all the prizes and the money you want. That's a level of customization. Okay. <coughs> Let's make sure everything's squared away. First off, we're heading for Linga, right? Yep. We need to find someone who can read the ancient text for us. With some luck? It should give us some sort of clue behind the origin of the sorcery globe. Yeah, that too. The town's located more or less south of Lacour, if I recall correctly.
good. Let's go. Trying to see if it's on some side mission. I'm trying to look at the side mission for Ashton. Because we have a quest for him. That, that involves some reading I gotta do on the side to figure out Ashton's uh, side quest mission. Because we went up the mountain last episode and nothing happened. Oh, we got some stuff. I think that's her. That's the. This is a character right here. Ah, oh, I was gonna make a perfect, graceful landing too, until you screwed it all up. What kind of graceful landing are you talking about? And besides, why are you falling out of the sky in the first place? What better way to have a first encounter? How romantic, huh? beautiful young girl falls from the sky. A dashing young man picks her up in his arms. <sighs> and instead, I run into some lunkhead who gets flattened by a little girl. It's a shame, I tell you. Look, you're being unreasonable here. My plans completely failed thanks to you. What are you going to do about this? Well, what do you want me to do? Mm hmm. Um, can I help you? Yeah, what the hell? Oh, you just don't get it. You're worthless. Totally worthless. <sighs> a man's supposed to be kind and gentle to his lady at a time like this. Can't you even think of something nice and caring to say to me right now? Ugh. <sighs> You just piss off the girls in your life by telling dirty jokes all the time. What? I I don't have any girl or anything. <laughs> oh, I got it on the mark, huh? I said no. You're so easy to read, kid. How about we do this then? I'm gonna follow you. No. Huh? You seem like you'd be kind of fun to tail for a bit. Besides, 
besides, this is my first time here, so I'm all lonely and vulnerable and stuff. But I... I'm in the middle of looking into the sorcery globe right now. Okay, so I'll just go with you then. No, I can't just let you follow me around all over the place. This is a really dangerous journey I'm on. I may not look it, but I'm a creator, you know. I can take care of myself in a fight. A creator? To put it another way, I'm a girl who can do pretty much anything. What does that mean? But... But what? Are you saying you're going to abandon this poor little girl in a scary and dangerous place like this? Says, hey. I can help you out, all right? You want to get on your girl's good side, correct? So, you'll need me for that. <laughs> You're starting to make me really anxious. Well, what's your reply? I don't think I want her. There's something odd about this selection menu. Odd? None of the choices let me say no. Oh, you're just imagining things. But... <laughs> well, so what's your choice? You're ever gonna let me go, so. What? You got a problem with me? N no, nothing. Please, I'd love to have you join me. Oh, well, if you insist, my name is Welch Vineyard. Um, Claude C. Kenny. Well then, Claude, allow me to make all your wildest love dreams come true. The hell that even mean? There's someone I'd like to introduce you to. Welch Vineyard, nice to meet you. Welch Whoa, Vineyard, she's cute. I think Welch is great. Vineyard. That one up from? Claude, who is that? Well, I don't know. She just fell from the sky. Like, no, no, I swear, I wasn't flirting with her or anyone else. Just calm down a second. Aha, uh -huh. so you're the girl, huh? Huh? Your girlfriend's quite the cutie. Girlfriend? Nice to meet you, Reyna. Uh, yeah. I'm going to be traveling with the rest of you from now on, so if you need anything, just let me know. Now come on, let's whip this crew into shape! I hope we can work with her. 
I get a bad feeling about this. Welch's Vineyard. That's a funny name. All right. Uh. But it's razor sharp and superbly balanced. Even a weak little girl like you could wield it with ease. That sword's rusted around the hilt. It'll snap after two or three strikes. I just noticed the black cat. Look, you're just here to heckle me and get in the way of my business, aren't you? What a rude thing to say. I'm just hoping you'd stop this garbage if you still consider yourself to be an honest merchant. I want to watch. Are you insinuating that I'm dishonest? <laughs> I'd like to see what you could make, lady. Supporting honest merchants is my duty, you know. Wait, uh, are you from the Merchant's Guild? Well, you could say I'm a representative. I'll be damned. I had no idea you were so uh, high up. <laughs> I'm going to turn over a new leaf from now on, okay? I'd appreciate it if you could keep today's little encounter uh, a secret. Oh, I a guy who knows how things work around here. No, not at all. I don't know a thing compared to you. No doubt about that. <laughs> oh, I don't. <coughs> this is the first time I ever recruited her playing this game. <coughs> That's what. No way. Oh, we're about to... We gotta stock up. That's crazy. So after we equip everything.
So we're equipped with everything we don't need now. Salva real quick. I'm afraid I'm a bit lost. How do I get to Harley from here? Oh shit, how do you get to Harley from here? Uh, north, right? Thank you, everyone. It was north, right? to get to Harley as soon as possible. Ready to go. Okay. Where's Hilton and where's Harley? Hilton's across the water. Okay. This guy's gonna be here. He's gonna ask another dumbass fucking question. Look at him right there. Look at this stupid ass. How the fuck did you get across the water? A famed stall line street in Hilton. Take care because one can easily get caught in while the draining chain. Reaction of impulse buys here. Right, what does that give me? <laughs> I came by boat, of course. Let's get to Harley. Travel by boat again. Let's travel by boat again to get to Harley. Oh, of course. How stupid of me. Oh shit. Way to go, dude. Kato, is that you? I came here with my mom. Are you gonna live here now? I don't know. Mom says she was looking for a place where we could live in peace. Oh. This was a stop to whatever that's calling this before it all happens again. Right, it's supposed to even means giving kids like Kettle a chance to grow up in a better world. Aww. Yo, she just, just, town she's not from, she's from across the water, and she just barges in on a house with kids. Oh, the dad's home. I want to hear a story from you. Oh, hmm. But once there was a king who was bit of a, in a bit of a bind. He ruled over a very cold land to the north, and lots of people froze to death every time winter rolled around. The king wanted to help his subject, so he spent a great deal of time thinking about what to do. He knew that the lands to the south produced lots of food crops, more than enough to get the nation to the winners. Thus, the king decided to send an army to invade his neighbor to the south. But th did that hand move? But there was a twist in the southern country that lived a woman who was once childhood friends with the king. The king once thought he would marry her someday, but gave up the thought 
so he could devote himself to the kingdom. So war broke out between the two countries with the big losses for both. Am I sorry? Am I this? Let's speak or sorry. After the war was over, the king sent a letter to his childhood friend. But the devastating war that had taken place had created an enormous near insurmountable barrier between the two. And so the girl never replied, the end. <laughs> Being a king must be lonely. I feel bad for the girl. <coughs> a king of the most king of the most powerful person in his nation, but he's also the loneliest. Take things that aren't yours. I guess you'll wind up paying for it later. That's what he gets for signing a war like that. Had a yawn. You know, sure, but it's been hard. Cross. Probably all this girl's up. Uh, yeah, it's, it's mainly her. Oh, Claude! Just what I need. Did you? What is it? Ashton and his dragons just learned a new trick. A trick? Here, watch for yourself. I, uh, I'm not sure if I should. Are you trying to say our trick isn't worth watching? <laughs> well, let's see it. No, of course that's not what I mean. I'll watch it, alright? Don't have to get angry about it. Super! <sighs> what are you sighing about, Ashton? Come on, creepy and weepy, get moving. <laughs> Anna one, Anna two, Anna. My name is Ashton. Warrior of the twin dragons. <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> Weepy. <laughs> and me. Me and my dragon pals. Me and my dragon pals. I wasn't expecting that. Well, how was it? Pretty catchy, isn't it? Uh, yeah. <sighs> we'll perform this act at the public square and make all kinds of money. Did you make it a Harley? Anyway, I saw you in the core city. Oh no, I'm done for. I fled all the way here, but it still wasn't far enough to escape the clutch of the people. <laughs> Wait, still have a change, have you? Oh lower, my life it's over. My poor star crossed light flickering out of its existence. Just leave her alone. <coughs> Why are you here anyway? I'm not hiding out here because I want to, you know. <coughs> Still beats get coming caught by those weird men. Oh! There she is, right there. Zandor's henchman. Who the hell are you? That's what I'd like to know. I don't know why you're trying to take the girl with me, but that's probably very gentleman for you. What was that? Let's get him! Oh shit.
Damn, I need to buy more of uh, that cure. A lot of mobs have been actually uh, paralyzing me. And this guy ain't playing around. Had enough, don't ever mess with her again. We'll get you for this. Why didn't we kill them? Look what's going on here. I don't know. I didn't know people were after you. Why do you care? It's none of your business. You can beat up on all the street punks you want, but you can't fool me. You're just trying to catch me off guard so you can have your way with me. What the hell? You were conspiring with those guys? I just know it. But then the timing a little too convenient just now. Listen, how about you run on back home, okay? You got into your fill of traveling around by now, haven't you? You aren't going to accomplish anything if you keep this up. I need you, you t I don't need you to tell me that. I wouldn't, I, I would have a been home already if it wasn't for those creeps. But I'm going back to Linga now, okay? Item shop. Good. We are ready for Avenger. Let's drop a save. Before we head back down the main road, I am going to be right back. It's about five minutes.
And we're back. Oh, thank goodness he said that because I actually did not know where it was. Southwest. Oh, this looks like north. What? So Reyna's only gonna stay in the group as healer. I wonder if she's gonna get like she. I'm more than sure she's gonna get like a a cure, a cure all, or something. not a cure all. What's it called? Uh, like cure paralyzed, cure status. She getting a little EXP too? This girl? I think all party members are leveling. I was in a back attack. He just ignored this. He just knew he wanted to hit. Yeah, well, we need to level to win. I used to play this game. I was like on websites like Game Game Facts. I think that website's still around. I don't see why not. I used to really lose in this game. I did not really know what I was doing. So this is Linga. Hold it. Hold it. So I'm not going to take this person in my group. Uh, uh, just stop for a second. Since I got this girl with me. Oh, ah. oh shit. <laughs> Goodness, what was that? What's a machine doing in a place like this? Machine? What's that? What's gotten into him all of a sudden? Oh man! Failed again! 
My dad's gonna laugh at me again. I just know it. Hey, you there! Are you okay? You aren't hurt or anything, are you? Oh! Uh, <laughs> You're hurt? <laughs> uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. This is, like, totally normal. I break more things before 8 a.m. than most people break all day. I don't think that's exactly how it goes, but anyway, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, by the way, do you know where my Robbie went? Your... Robbie? Yeah, you know, the guy that ran by just now. Oh, you mean that remote control toy? I think it went that way. Uh, dang. I better catch him before he goes too far. Hey, wait a sec! Thanks for checking up on me. See ya, folks. The girl's like a tornado. I don't know. I thought she was kind of cute. <laughs> oh, really? That's what you like in a girl, huh, Ashton? Well, I, uh, I didn't mean anything like that, Raina. Well, for one... As we use salmon, it can regain quite a bit of HP and MP at the battle through the long term of battle. Okay, that's what salmon does. Okay, that's that. This is why we gotta talk to NPCs. We got a couple of oddballs living in this town. There's a man and his daughter who makes a lot of weird stuff and a pharmacist who likes to poke his nose into, into anything that piques his interest. If they sound interesting, you might want to pay them a visit. Trust. It's gotta be a trust in here, right? space in this house seriously no trust Your dad. Hey, Percy's gone off somewhere again. That feels incredible. Investigating the sorcery globe, you might want to drop by the university to learn anything. So, yeah. Is that this guy. Search of a linguist. You'd like to meet the professor? 
Do you have an appointment? Uh, an appointment? Uh, I'm sorry, people, but the professor is a very busy man. If you don't have an appointment, then I'm afraid he doesn't have the time to see you. Well, can we make an appointment? We really need to see him. Well, I don't have any openings available until about a month from now. Sheesh. Uh, a month? Yes, a month. I'll see you then. Push this out. Oh, brother. Next month? What a pain he was. We can't wait that long, can we? No. That's why we've got to figure out a way to get in contact with him. Do you think the linguist would have any acquaintances elsewhere in town? Hmm. Like who, for example? Well, like friends, or maybe people who work at the shops he visits. We might as well okay. hit up the town for some clues. Sounds good to me. We're gonna barge in people's houses and look for clues. The other monsters. So we're not going to the university yet. Hold on, hold up. Oh, this is for our quest button. We'll see how it plays out. Hey, we've met before, haven't we? Do you need something? Yeah, there's something I wanted to ask you. Say. Oh, you're interested in me that way, aren't you? Sounds good to me. I'm free all year. No, 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 that's not what I meant. Gosh, <laughs> you didn't have to deny it so strongly. That's just rude. I, uh, uh sorry. Ah, uh, that's all right. So, what did you need? I'm interested in that thing you have there, actually. This thing? That's an RC car, <coughs> isn't it? An RC what? Come on, that name's stupid. His name's Robbie, okay? <laughs> hmm, I guess Robbie isn't much better either, now that I think of it. No, it's fine. You think? Well, super, I really like that name myself. You know, that R sound, Rob, 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 Robbie? Um, you're interested in Robbie? Her colors don't match up with her model. Huh? You know, this guy here. You like him? Well, I guess so. I mean, it looks exactly like an RC car, after all. I don't know what an RC car is, but I'm glad you like Robbie. That means you and I will get along pretty well. Listen, you want to come to my house sometime and have something to drink? I've got all kinds of other neat stuff I made that I could show you. Are you sure? And I'm not trying to ask you on a date, okay? Uh, right. Super then. My name is Priestess. Priestess F. Newman. Glad to meet you. Oh, my name is Claude. Claude C. Kenny. <laughs> hmm, well, nice to meet you, Claude. Wondering, how old are you? 19. I'm 19 this year. We're only three years apart then. No worries there. What the hell? What do you mean? What do you think I mean? Oh my god, that's such an annoying. That was annoying. <coughs> By the way, Claude, that blue haired girl who is with you, is she your girlfriend? What? No. Hmm, I see. This is your house? Uh-huh. Cool. Come on in. This 
Rain of Authority here. Thank you. Oh, Reina? What are you doing here, Claude? Oh, Dad, if you're gonna be bringing cute chicks to the house, at least give me some advance warning. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're the one bringing strange men in and out. You know, you could at Yo, least no. try to be a little I'm more discreet about too far it. From the tree. Um... Wow, so this thing caught your eye too, huh, Reyna? Yes, it did. Well, you know what they say. Sooner or later, true genius always gets recognized for the genius it is. No yeah, one says that. Shame that usually doesn't happen until long after the creator's dead. That was unnecessary, young lady. So what was it that inspired you to make stuff like this? Yeah, yeah well, I know this will sound generic, but for me, it was purely just a flash of inspiration. <laughs> oh, really? I need to ask, though. I couldn't help but notice the clothes you're wearing. <laughs> It's not something you can get just anywhere. Oh, you think? Oh, they sell clothes like these all over the place. Nothing special at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, Claude? Well, there are people still waiting for us, so we should be taking our leave. You have to go? I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't have more here to offer. Oh, not at all. The tea was lovely. Listen, uh, you know how my dad was talking about that flash of inspiration before? Well, that was a big fat lie. A lie? A while back, my dad picked up this weird hunk of iron that shone like the sun. It was really huge, too. He said something about it falling out of the sky. Fell from the sky? Like the sorcery globe? Yeah, probably. Is it part of a ship? And, um... What? Listen, Reyna, you're probably totally jealous of me right now, right? You don't have to hide it. It's not like I mind having a rival or anything. Oh my goodness, I do kind of want to take her. <laughs> Wait, I... It's not... <laughs> I'm telling you, it's okay. I mean, you do have a thing for Claude, don't you? Oh... Of course not. Don't be silly. Oh, uh, so no problem then. There is a problem. A big one. And what would that be, hmm? Well, I mean... Hmm, so why? What's the big deal? This is getting her face. I... I just... Oh! The sorcery globe! We got the sorcery globe to think about. Listen, Priestess. We're about to set off on a journey to investigate the sorcery globe, okay? I'm sorry, but we don't have the time to preoccupy ourselves with you. Ooh. Oh! Hold it there, you two. So you guys are gonna go check out the sorcery globe? Yeah, that's right. Then let me go with you. Come on, take me along, please. I... Uh, we can't let you join us just because you want to. <laughs> Come on, why can't I go too? We're friends, aren't we? Whoa, whoa, since when were we friends? Right. We've always been friends as far as I'm concerned. Are you trying to deny it? That's not what we're saying, no. 
What's the problem then? I mean, the sorcery globe fell out of the sky too, didn't it? If I can find it and take it back home, I bet I can use it to make even better stuff than ever before. Besides, you're the only folks I know who'll treat me like a normal girl. Priestess. I'm gonna say no, guys, because I want to get one of the later characters late on in the game. I know that. It's just not going to work. We're risking our lives on the road every day we're out there. This isn't a field trip by any stretch of the imagination. He's right. Besides, won't your father be worried if you go out on a journey all by yourself? Oh, you big bullies. What are you doing on the road then, Reyna? Oh, just forget it. Whatever. Don't be mad. That wasn't pretty. Well, she's not too upset. Yeah, I want to get one of the new, uh, one of the characters that I haven't seen before. I had her in my group before. I kind of get the vibe she has, but I didn't know there were other. I didn't know there were thirteen characters in the game, and I only could take eight. Um, back to this. One more time. Oh, we got three of them at one time here. Hurry again? No, my father's out right now, so I'm tending to the store for him. You. Why are you here, though? Did you come all the way down to Linga to take me away? I told you a million times I'm not going to do anything to you. Drop the delusion already. You drop it. You can pretend it's a lie all you want, but you're not going to fool me. Got it. Now get going. I'm going to call the time watch if you don't. That girl's ridiculous. If you have an ancient text that needs a coding, you should see Dr. Keith Krasner. He lives right next to the Academy co op. Celine, I went to school would be interested in doing any research in symbology. If someone would spend more time on it, surely you could produce something useful. Wombology. LaCour Academy, the only university on Expel that a wide array of subjects are taught under one roof, from linguistics to astronomy, with each department advancing their field. Oh, shit. And she leveled up. Come on, come on, ladies and gentlemen, step right up and see what I got here. Students, mothers, professors, just read this book and you too can be a genius. The more you read, the smarter you get. Really? Sounds like a scam to me. What are you blabbing about? <laughs> don't, don't knock it until you read it, pal. So, are you going to buy it? Are you serious? I'm not going to waste my money on some book I don't know anything about. Hey now, boy, at least buy the book before you say something like that. What will you do? I'll buy one. I'll take this one, please. Ooh, finally someone who understands the value of this fine book. Good choice, my friend. Just for that, I'll let you have it for one night. Thank you so much. I guarantee you won't regret it. Life of Nature. A skill read book for her. I'll take biology. Oh, what the hell? Item knowledge. Herbology. Mineralogy. Okay, so that's something I learned about. 
professor told me that the that monsters at the same time all have similar weakness. I'm sure there are exception though. Am I lit swinging? Do I got a do I got a lit? Did you come to look for a book too, Claude? Yep, you too, Raina. Yes, there's a book I want to find. the book by Sam Dade. The alignment of the stars has been shifting recently. Isn't that weird? You're looking for a linguistics professor? I don't think the best one here is... I think the best one here is Dr. Keith Gardner. What are you reading, Raina? Ah! Don't sneak up on me like that. Sorry, sorry. I was just wondering what you were reading is all. Situational awareness, right now. You mean this? Yeah. What book is it? Huh. University study. A how-to guide? Yeah. I've been interested in going to college for a while now. What? Hmm. I didn't know you wanted to go to school, Raina. I'm not at that point yet. I'm just curious about what it's like. Besides, I can't exactly make the commute from Arlie and Alinga every day. Yeah, I guess you're right. I know. How about I help you with your studies? Huh? If you're curious about college, then that means you want to continue studying, right? But you don't really need a university for that, Reina. You can study whatever you want, as long as you've got a teacher to help you. Guess you don't trust me. I had pretty good grades in school, you know. Oh no, it's not that. I was just so happy that you offered. Well then, lead away, Professor Kenny. Professor? <laughs> okay then, where shall we begin? And that's how it works. Do you understand it? Hmm, that's really interesting. That's enough for today, I think. Thanks, Claude. Okay. Those question marks, I believe, are books. Even rich source of research materials for the pharmacist is called our research materials have always been difficult to obtain due to the monster that inhabit the grounds. The symbols used in symbology are completely different from the letters of the alphabet, even their forms are fundamentally different from each other. It is as if they were created by people from a completely different civilization. Most likely, so called acts of God are actually natural phenomena triggered by abnormal events oh god like, I wonder what, they don't even talk about their god all right to the main course. Hello, hello. Bowman, that's who I'm here? recruiting. No, that's not the problem we're here for. Um, do you know the linguist who lives next to the campus store? Oh, you mean Keith? It's very important that we talk to that man. Do you know how we can meet him without an appointment? 
Well, he's been swamped with requests to decipher old books and scrolls <coughs> lately, that much I know. Unless it's something really, really important, I doubt there's any way to jump the line. We need to read an ancient text we found inside Cross Cave. From Cross Cave? Well, that's a whole different story, then. We can't wait a month for this. If you happen to know Keith at all, will you be able to arrange something? You're telling me you found this scroll inside Cross Cave. You know that's hard to believe based on what I know about the cave, right? We have the evidence right here, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> evidence, evidence. You could fabricate something like that easy. <laughs> Not that I'm saying you're lying, mind you. Just tell us how we can convince you. If you're strong enough to traverse Cross Cave, then going through Linga's sacred grounds shouldn't be a problem for you. Setting me on a quest? Linga's sacred grounds? Yep, a place revered by pharmacists for its bounty of medicinal plants. Located right next to town, you know. It still hasn't fully been explored, though. There are still all kinds of undiscovered herbs inside, no doubt. So you want us to go in there? Oh, this is no field trip. It may be a sacred ground, but deep inside exists a place known as the door to another world. It's a dangerous place, and it's lousy with monsters. If you aren't ready for it, you could pay with your life. But you'll believe our story if we go and fetch some herbs for you? Hmm. Maybe. If the cross cave didn't kill you, then finding me an undiscovered herb would probably convince me. An undiscovered herb? Are you serious? Oh, that shouldn't make you break a sweat, Mr. I went to Cross Cave. Come on, oh, off he, you go then. He really doesn't believe us. Hold oh, on, before we do that. He's grabbing it. Drop a save and head out. So yeah, that's Bowman. That, uh, that's gonna be the next uh, member of our group. What do you think we'll find? Uh, maybe we get to read that. Oh, 
I, I don't. Yes. Well, I got those blocks up. Oh look, she, I can summon um, Homegirl. I don't know I can do that. I got my mic blocking that part of the screen. I couldn't see it. So I can use her. Sweet. Now we can. Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure I saw this in the shop itself. Damn it. I like this group though for combat. We better be careful. Fuck. Well, I got her again. It's a different woman. Who are these women that are, that are training these dogs? Clear. Yeah, what did I say? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there's a status clearing fact. Yep. Oh, nice. Nice. I did not know that. What? We need that. We all kind of need that. It allows me to... <coughs> um... Oh, 
Should have her prodigy. Dirt should help one keep one nerve event, even in front of the crowd. Really train animals. Ability to put your finger in your mouth blow hard. Experience the sound. The ability to find pleasure in setting out these. I'm using items. I need these items to do what they need to do. Okay. We're all a little stronger. Fucking stone. That was close. It wasn't that close, buddy. Turned around. Oh shit. I have the giant fucking rat.
For real. She's level 31? 31? Sweet. Are you sure about Are you sure about that? Sweet. I don't know. Well, we'll just have to show in and see. Go back, but I don't want to go back here. I want to look, look, look this whole place down, and get some experience. Because if we recruited her here at level 31, we might be behind on leveling. Not even well, staggering. They're leveling, they're out here leveling. Here they come! We got enemies! Ah! 
I mean, you want it to be a chain, don't don't I? I don't know why I did this. Dialogue's up. I don't think there's any more here. Oh, what a hand, guys. Oh, shit. Six. Monster Rust. It also holds to many unsolved mysteries such as uh, such creatures that we truly exist. Oh my god. They were 
they're all looking in other directions. actually fill up pretty fast so uh Ooh, me and my combo are actually doing all right Cheers. Wolf lady. These monsters around us. What 
did some kind of monster grave. Look out. Oh shit, what the hell is that? brain on this one. Honestly, I am doing amazingly well. This isn't unexpected. Wonderful. Everybody should just sit back, relax, and enjoy. I am breezing to this one. And it's on normal. It's a little challenging. I just got that one hand skill. We're going for Giants and Dragons, the sacred place where monster lurks. This could have just happened could it are you saying that you think somebody deliberately built this but unless you were a god i doubt anybody would have the ability to make something like this i can't imagine that people made this if it were a god and that's another story but that's just silly a god is certainly a mystery either way What are you gonna say now, Bowman? Brought something back, have you? I'm gonna Let's keep playing, but I'll be right back, guys. Brought something, brought something back, have you? Here are the goods. What do you think? found is it good i haven't seen anything like this except in dusty old textbooks where did you find this stuff so it's a winner then guys this isn't a winner it's a major scientific breakthrough Major enough to get us a visit with the linguist? 
You've discovered a completely new family of medical herbs and that's all you care? You people are special, you know that? I gotta get you in... Here, let's go. I'm taking you to Keith's house. Sorry about that. And we're back. <coughs> Sorry about that. Keith must be a pretty busy man. We got pushed out of the house the last time we visited. Hold on a second. Keith! Hey, Keith! <laughs> Keith! You there? Keith! Keith! Great. He's not here. Sheesh. What's all this racket? Sorry about that. It's me. Oh, uh, Dr. Gene. Yeah, just call me Bowman. Is Keith in? <laughs> oh, yes. Just a moment. Please, come in. Oh, he is there. Celine, if you don't move. Excuse me, sir. Evans, did you bring the whole town with you, Bowman? Settle down. Hello, Keith. What happened to the friendly neighborhood linguist I used to know, huh? What do you mean? These people have been trying to talk with you, but they keep getting booted out. Well, I've been busy deciphering these books for the kingdom. They're looking for information on the sorcery globe, but this stuff's mostly useless. That's why I'm having my assistant chase the distractions away for the time being. You think we're just distractions? He didn't mean anything by it, guys. Just tell him what you want. Well, we'd like you to translate an ancient text we found deep in the heart of Cross Cave. From the Cross Cave? Seriously? Yes. Finding it was difficult enough, but it's just too old for us to make any sense of. Hmm. Well, sounds a bit more interesting than this government... Busy work, at least. Let's have a look at it. This is it. My goodness, we have a potentially monumental discovery. Really? Hmm. This resembles an ancient robotic hand I'm familiar with, but the script runs quite a bit differently. Do you think you can decipher it? Well, it's going to take me some time. Do you mind if I borrow this for a while? I'd like to have some time to concentrate on it. Certainly. Go ahead. Thank you very much. This is quite a surprise to find on my desk, I must say. I suppose I ought to thank you too, Bowman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
You actually thanked me. We're probably gonna see pigs fly before long. You have monsters in your world, buddy. Second, let's get one joint ready. Well, I'm glad that worked out. Keith was just about beside himself. Thanks. We really appreciate it. Oh, no need for that. Myself? I'm interested in this crazy adventure you guys threw yourself into more than anything. Oh, um... The way you folks carried on about the sorcery globe over dinner, I thought you were married to it. So, you're really gonna travel to L and take a look for yourself, huh? Well, we'd like to, yes. Did you actually think... I'd let you walk away after giving me such a tantalizing story? Huh? Every expedition needs an experienced, knowledgeable scientist in the party, doesn't it? Oh. So, I'm suggesting you take old Bowman and his many years of experience along. I assure you, you won't regret it. What's up, Bowman joined? Your decision, please. Really? Well, in that case, we'd love... Ha-ha! <laughs> You're a smart shopper, kid. This isn't exactly a shopping trip. <coughs> well, anyway, you're leaving tomorrow morning, aren't you? I better go tell Nene while I have a chance. Good night, Claude. See you tomorrow. So he's going to leave Nene? Yeah. Just like that? This, yeah, well, is she gonna be okay? Sorry. I'll be back, I promise. I know you, Bowman. You aren't the sort of person to just leave the house on a lark. 
Nene. Don't worry. I'll take care of things here for you. Time to set off. <coughs> Are you sure about that? I don't remember you saying goodbye to Nene. Well, what do you want me to do? Go up to her and say in front of all you guys? Oh, my sweetest of loves, I swear I'll return for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You young people get all romantic at the drop of a hat, don't you? Well, I'll see you later, Nene. Sure. Have fun out there. Well, I'd say it's time we head for L. We'll need to ask the King of Lacour to send out a ship for us. The fling. He's right. And while we're in Lacour, we better make sure we have all the equipment and supplies we need. I'll carve a chunk off the sorcery globe and bring it home for you, Nene. Sure, honey. That would be nice. I don't know what the fling is. get this up.
level three with that shit. I'm gonna be able to like enhance my weapons. to get that. You people are evacuating to LaCour, right? Evacuating? Sheesh, didn't you hear the news? Monsters destroyed the L Kingdom. Their hordes are marching for LaCour as we speak. What? What? I'm sure we'll slaughter them once they reach the front line base. Until then, the area north of LaCour is going to be a battlefield. That's why we're evacuating everyone into the castle. We want to join the fight, too. You have any idea what you're saying? You'll just drag us down. We need you inside LaCour Castle. Now go on! Red Leon. Are you here to have the evacuate too? You need to register first. If you're injured, please feel free to rest in the arena waiting room. <coughs> Could I ask who's representing this group? Me, Claude C. Kenny. Say, you aren't that guy who took second place in the armory contest, are you? I sure am. Wow, what an honor. Where were you born, Mr. Kenny? I, um... Arlia, the village of Arlia, in Cross. All right, then. Please, enter the castle. The bunch you have to move us somewhere else, won't they? Won't they? Does this mean I'll never be able to return to my inn? The guild still offer you any time to receive us this year. Jeez. Everything so far has just been horrible. What happened to, to what do you think is going to happen to us? I was working on this piece of armor for evacuating. You can have it free. I'm so sorry, my food just got here. And I am hungry. I probably gotta cut it. Oh. 
Oh my god, what the fuck? Sire. Who the hell are you? Bowman? Is that you? Huh? I apologize for not visiting sooner, my liege. I see the laboratory has changed a great deal in my absence. I don't care who you are or how you know the king. I'm the one who runs the show in this laboratory. And you're gonna have to go through me first. You're Florith and Murdoch's son, aren't you? Last time I saw you, you were only three years old. Not that you'd remember it. That's not what I asked you. I said, who are you and why are you here? Leon, this is the man who used to lead the lab's pharmaceutical department. Although it was only for six months, the department was shut down soon after his departure. Sounds like the kind of guy you'd call a loser, Dad. Leon! Smart kid. Yo. You got me there. I used to have a promising career going here, but like you said, kid, I'm just a humble country pharmacist. Stop calling me a kid! Now, now, Bowman. Tell me, what brings you here today? The group of people here are conducting an investigation into the Sorcery Globe, my liege. And I am a part of this group. We were mistaken as refugees while traveling through the area, and were shuffled into the castle. While inside, I just couldn't help but be reminded of the Lacour Hope. The Lacour Hope? A symbology weapon. Potent enough to wipe a small island off the map. How do you know so much about it? I was involved in its research during my stint at this laboratory. It was initially developed as a deterrent against enemy invasion, but its purpose has since shifted towards anti-monster defense. You don't intend to... Uh, either way, as long as it's for peaceful purposes, you won't hear any complaints from me. So is it done yet? Sadly, no. We're just one step away! The material we need to finish it is waiting for us in the Hoffman Ruins! The Hoffman Ruins? Who the heck's gonna go into that? We're gonna have to take him. It'd be like signing your own death warrant. I'm going. Being the leader of this project, I'll get the ore I need if I have to dig it up with my own hands. And who's gonna let you do that? The king is, mom and dad are, everybody here wants me to. Murdoch, you've got a like talented Leon. son, yeah, but he's still just a kid, you know. We need all the soldiers we have over in the front line base. There aren't any reserves to send into the Hoffman ruins with him right now. My liege. On behalf of all of us, I apologize for eavesdropping on your conversation. As a sign of our sincerity, please allow us to escort Leon to the Hoffman Ruins. Bowman? 
Beats life as a refugee family, doesn't it? <laughs> Even if it does mean we're traveling with this little... Er, excuse me. I mean the good Dr. Leon Diaz guest. Do you really mean <laughs> what you said, Bowman? Forget it! I'm not going with you guys! What can you possibly do that I can't do myself? Oh, a few things at the very least. You do realize that you're looking at the Hero of Light here. Have you lost your mind? You think anyone <laughs> in this lab really believes in stupid fairy tales? Look, Your Majesty, if you insist on me bringing this rabble on this journey, so be it. I need to go to the ruins, and I don't care who follows me. Well, Bowman? I think we should take advantage of this quad. It might just be our ticket to L. All right. I'd appreciate it if we could come right. along then. Whatever. It just means I have to babysit you amateurs. Wonderful. In that case, there's no time to waste. You'll travel by sea to the Hoffman Ruins. I'll arrange for a ship in the port of Hilton for you. This is where... <coughs> I only passed this part one time and shortly didn't get to finish the game. I only got, this is where I kept getting stuck at and I've only passed it one time. I now remember wherever we are. Here, I don't need this, but I'm sure you will at your age. So take it, old man. Yo, you the... Do the wallow. One second. I think my mic is off or like different. Mic check. There we go. The name of the first special art to be canceled midway in order to use a second switch art. Set the second picture for Q E on the special arts on screen. Spell's gonna be set. Nice. Let's get going. We got Leon. I'm gonna do it with Bowman and Leon and Rena. It's me, Leon. I need to go into the Hoffman ruins. These people are with me, so let them through too. Yes, Doctor Guest. Of course. Good luck on your expedition, sir. I won't need it. <laughs> what is brat? Ash's mission? That's Ashton's mission. We gotta do do that. Yo, that scared the shit out of me. <coughs> God, I'm gonna take a break on this episode. I'm gonna put part two of this episode later. Probably right after I eat climb. I'm excited now. All right, guys, thank you so much. If you liked the episode, drop a like. And if you want to follow along in the series, go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button. Thank you.